anyways, this is going to be a really quick review because I don't have a whole lot to say about this product. Okay, so I recently got this palette. This is a Bobbi Brown, Bobbi, mini Bobbi Bryce palette. And it came in this kind of box. Um, it is online exclusive, so I couldn't have known this size before I purchased it. And I was just thinking, even though it's kind of mini something, it can be really, really small because it's Super Size America. And I've soaked the, <laughs> the full size mini brown, uh, no mini brown, um, Bobby Brown shadow is as big as this. So it can be that small and also it's really pricey. I don't even want to say the number because every time I think about it, I'm like, ooh. And okay, as for the palette, it looks like this. It's really, really, really tiny. It's not even mini, it's like just unbelievably tiny. The palette looks like this. And you can tell how terribly small these shadows are. It's like a fingertip size. Okay, and there is a mirror here, and there is a tiny little bit of brush that you probably won't use for anything. And yeah, it came with 20 shadows. Generally speaking, I think this palette is good for people who want to try out a lot of Bobbi Brown colors. And um, it's like a sampler. You just try different colors, and if you like any of them, you go out and buy the full size of it. And also it's good for people who travel a lot but also like a lot of colors. Because I, I travel a lot and I usually bring my Urban Decay palettes with me, they're super thick. So this is good for frequent traveler. And this palette is not for people who are um, really obsessed with makeup, who consumes makeup a lot, a lot, a lot. And also not good for beginner because you don't want to start from such a pricey product. Okay, um, as for the quality of the color, I would say it's okay, but I expected a little more since it's Bobbi Brown. And there, the good thing is that there are a lot of really nice matte colors. I usually don't have a lot of matte eyeshadows just because I feel like it's hard to play with, especially blend. But uh, there are quite a few really nice matte color today. Uh, I created this look with colors from this palette and I use this color here, this coral color. And I think it's a really nice matte color. And there are some frosty color on the top and they're essentially the same. Even though they have different tone to it, they're the same. Um, and there are some shimmer colors with a little bit of glitter to it. I uh, like this one, this one. I use this one today. Um, even though it looks really, really beautiful in the palette, like many, many shadows with the glitters in it, the glitters tend to fall off and the color, it's just okay, not as amazing as you see in this palette. And there is a color that I really don't understand, this one, the, the, I would say the reddish pink, yeah. It just doesn't have any color payoff. It's just like nothing. I actually um, already had a swatch picture, so I'm going to put it at the very end of the video. And you can totally see that this color just doesn't come out. Just, I don't know. So overall, I would rank 2.5 out of 5 stars. Because it's just pretty mediocre. Um, I'm keeping it simply because I travel a lot and I really love vibrant colors and I think it probably will come in handy sometime in the future and also I do appreciate the matte colors in the palette but other than that nah, I don't really recommend it um, by the way if you really 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 want to purchase this thing um, there are two coupon codes that you can use so you can have a full size of the shadow yeah it kind of make it worth it a little bit, but still, I mean, uh, yeah, and there are some um, free symbols coming with the palette. And also, yeah, of course, free shipping because it's so expensive. Um, yeah, that's it. And if you're interested in this particular look or uh, the color swatch, please go to my blog down below in the bottom bar. So, yeah, that's it. And have a great day. Bye.